We're going to go through the CSM salts core test kit, uh, listing the components and how they're used, and actually perform a test so you can see how it's done. When you open the box, inside the lid permanently attached are the directions. They are specific in that they be done in step-by-step -step order. They're all listed here. Before you ever perform the test the first time, please read the directions. There is information in there that's critical to getting the test done correctly. In here it names the various components. This is the adhesive sleeve. This is the nitrate strip, the five little strips in there that's used to test for nitrates. This is the funnel. This is called an auto vial. It's actually just a filter. This is the bottle of chlor extract. This is the sulfate reagent. These are the titration tubes used to measure the chlorides. This is the wipe. The wipes are, are used to keep the bottles clean. This is the meter that's used to measure the sulfates. And what it actually is, is it's an electronic eye that looks through the bottle and measures the opacity of the solution. And if you've got dirty fingerprints on there, it can affect that reading. So we provide the wipes to do that with. To actually perform the test, you take the adhesive sleeve, the bottle of chlor extract, and this is pre-dosed with the correct volume. It is a chemical extract solution that will extract more salts than DI water or demineralized water by itself. You empty the contents of the bottle into the sleeve, place the bottle back in the holder. You peel off the adhesive backing. It comes in two parts. We're going to demonstrate this on a vertical surface, which is probably the most common use. Hold the sleeve between your thumb and two fingers. <coughs> Simply take it to the surface, set it there, roll it up into place, press it on with your fingertips. Make sure it's well adhered to the surface. You do have to make a liquid tight seal. Lift the sleeve from the bottom's end so that the extract runs against the steel surface massage it with your finger. You, we recommend massaging it for two minutes. Most people have a hard time gauging two minutes. We do suggest you use a watch with a second hand and actually timing the amount of time that you're massaging that extract to make sure you've got the full two minutes. The kit also includes a metal snapper. It's used to snap the ends off of the tube but it also makes a very good means to scrape this off and remove it from the surface after you have done your two minute massage. It is a very good quality adhesive needed on rough surfaces to get a watertight seal. It does adhere very well to metal surfaces. It will leave a mark from the adhesive that's easily removed with almost any kind of solvent, uh, alcohol, MEK, turpentine, mineral spirits. After you remove this sleeve, we use the auto vial, which is a component I said was a filter. You remove the top, place the funnel in here, pour the extract into the auto vial. These are all one-time use components. Use them once and throw them away. The extract will not run through this filter by itself. It's a very fine filter. Actually takes pressure to push it through there. Put the plunger in there. Squirt it right back into the bottle that you removed it from.
We now have the extract back into the clean bottle. Now we're ready to measure the chlorides, the sulfates, and the nitrates. To measure for chlorides, we use this titration tube. The yellow end is the bottom. It's got readings. The heavy blue line on the bottom is zero. The first reading is at one, and it goes all the way up to 60 parts per million. We have engineered the test kit, so all of the readings are in parts per million, and all readings are a one-to-one -one ratio to micrograms per square centimeter. So if you get a reading of 10 parts per million, that is 10 micrograms. You are snapping glass. The tube is sealed to keep it from becoming contaminated prior to use. Take the metal slat snapper, insert the tube all the way into it, now, because you are snapping glass, you should wear safety glasses. Be careful of your fingers. Snap both ends off so it's open like a straw. Drop it into this bottle. You see the white cotton at the top. When this wicks all the way up and this cotton turns amber colored, a light yellow, it indicates the test is done. While that is wicking up, you can take this test for the nitrates. There are five individual tests in this package. They're on a perforated tear apart seam here. Tear one of these off. It says open on this end. Hold it a little below the top and tear it off. This little pad right at the bottom is what tests the nitrates. What, if you follow the directions that are right on the package, it says dip, dip test strip into the extract sample for two seconds, remove and wait one minute and match the color change. Again, use the second hand on your watch and wait the one minute. Then compare this color change. It's quite easy to tell. We can see the color change we've got, got there already. So the surface we sampled, even though we did not massage it for the two minutes, to keep from boring you to death in this video, uh, we are still picking up nitrates. While we're, we've done the nitrates strip, you can see the extract solution wicking up this tube. It takes a minute and a half or two minutes for it to wick all the way to the top. It will, it will wick on up there. By the way, this nitrate strip, like the rest of it, is a one-time use and throw it away. <coughs> By using each component only one time, we do not get any cross-contamination from test to test. While we're waiting for this to wick up, I'll explain the next procedure to you. After we have taken our chloride reading, we remove this little bottle from there, take one of these wipes that are included in the kit, Just for explanation and purposes, I'll use another bottle. Wipe the bottle, remove all the fingerprints, any dirt that's on there so you've got a perfectly clean bottle. You see it, on the side of this bottle there's a vertical line, up and down. Inside this meter, right here, is a little arrow. You line up this vertical line with this arrow. What we want to do, this meter has got an electronic eye that looks through that bottle and measures the opacity, so we want to make sure that whenever we press the read button, we are in the same location, so if there's a variation in the glass itself, it doesn't affect the reading. Okay, this reading here is just about done. You can see it's turning amber color at the top. 
as it wicks its way up. What we're actually looking for is the pink in the center of this tube to turn white if they're from chlorides. We're not getting any white above the heavy blue line, so we have no chloride contamination. Again, it's a one-time use and discard it. Okay, we've tested for chlorides, we've tested for nitrates, now we'll test for sulfates. Take the bottle, place the cap on it, wipe any fingerprints off, we'll line this line up with the arrow, we will press the read button once to turn the meter on, now we press and hold the zero button until it says BLA, baseline adjustment. Okay, the electronic eye looked through that bottle, measured the opacity, and calibrated that to a zero. So the meter calibrates for every single test. Take this back out. This is a standard barium chloride sulfate reagent been used in laboratory testing procedures for decades. Place the reagent in the bottle of extract. Again, that's disposed of. Put the top on the bottle. And we shake this up. <coughs> there is a specified time for shaking. We won't sit here and take the time up now but it's in the directions. Now since we've handled the bottle, we again wipe off any fingerprints. We line the line up, put it in the meter, close it, and just press the read button. Showing sulfates of five parts per million or five micrograms per square centimeter, which is 50 milligrams per square meter. That's how simple and easy it is to do the test. All you have to do now is record the results. Once you've used everything within the test, we do provide a refill kit, the CSN salts refill, which includes everything that's in this case other than the meter itself. There are five adhesive sleeves, there are five titration tubes, there's five funnels, there's a new snapper, there's the filters, the extract, the reagent, the nitrate test strips. So basically a refill contains five of everything to refill this test kit. It is also available in a bulk pack refill of 50 of each component. For larger jobs, there's a cost savings of about 10% to buy it in a larger quantity. Again, read the directions. If anything doesn't seem to be right, go back and refer back to your directions. If you have any questions, contact us at 800-422-3217 or 480-821-0039 or email us at support at chlor-rid.com. That's support at chlor-rid.com. Thank you.